podcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by AOL Music and Spinner.com, where you can get free MP3s, exclusive interviews, and more. Video bandwidth for the Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Daily Gizwiz with Mads Maddest writer Dick Bartolo. This is episode 1048 for Wednesday, March 17th, 2010. Okay to wake alarm clock. And now, get ready for Dick. Ha, oh, Faith and Megara, it's time once again for that little man in the green hat with his shillelagh and his shenanigans. Dickie D, it's, it's Gizwiz time. And I, I don't like have a it Wednesday too. song, really. I could sing the Monday song over again. No! It's Wednesday! Theme Tree Wednesday, the show you cannot hug. The day when there's no sea. Well, Faith and Megara, if it isn't, isn't Dicky T, may the road rise up to meet you on the way home and then roll down a tart you and, and knock you into the ditch because that's what happened to me last night. Hello, Dicky. Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Now, did St. Patrick really drive the snakes out of the country? Well, something did because there ain't any left. No, he actually just gave them a lift as far as the border. <laughs> That's a, a, a joke I heard on Johnny Carson. Uh, oh, Lord. Oh, Maybe uh, it was the delivery. Maybe the delivery is what saves delivery, that. The yeah. delivery, yes. yes. How are you doing? I'm wonder. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Save that. That was the new letters theme, so I'm just saving it. Oh, okay. Out. Yes, okay. they're so wonderful from Dan Luters. We'll play a new one. Today. Is there a St. Patrick's Day parade in Petaluma? Sure, Faith and McGor. It's just one or two of us. We go down to the local pub, and we have a little, a little tip, a little pint, a green beer. Oh, okay, okay. As long as there's something, I like St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> What's not to like? <laughs> yes, and why is that? I don't know. I just do. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, all right, yep. all right, all righty. <laughs> I'll be oh, here. See. Oh no, I'm sorry. Uh, We're gonna do it. No, no, you, you can only I. Only you can say that, huh? I. Uh, can say. Right. Well, I must have had a little bit of too much of the good Irish whiskey. Well, I found something. Uskaba, you know, that's what they call it. Of green. Yes. In it. Yes. Okay. It's kind of clever. A long time back, uh, I had the good night light. And the good night light was a night light that you put in the kid's room that was moonlight. Oh, and then I remember during that. the night it went off. Yeah, and I then love that. in the morning when the sun night light came on, it was to tell the child they could get out of bed. So this incorporates that kind of technology into a cute little actual clock. Now, this is probably more convenient because the other thing was a night light and it had to be in an outlet right. in an area where the kid could see it. So now you have a little digital clock and in the back of the clock, the parent sets the time that it is okay to wake them. And in the morning when the kid wakes up, he has to wait until... I don't know if I can actually make it happen. I can't without it actually happening. When the, the entire clock uh, glows green, it means it's okay to get up and wake the parents. Hmm. Now, at, as the child gets a little bit older, they can just use this as a regular wake-up clock with an alarm, a snooze alarm. But there's another feature I like in this. It also has a built-in nap timer that doesn't unset any of the other times so if the child wants to go to bed for half an hour you just hit the button and tell it 30 minutes or 40 minutes or if you yourself want to use it you can go to uh, take a sleep for as long as you want you just hit nap hold down a button until it gets the number of minutes you want to nap and then it can either wake up with the green or it can wake up with an alarm um, so it does a lot of things. It's under 30 bucks. Uh, it also it's also has, green for St. Patrick's Day. It's green for St. Patrick's Day. But, Leo, you can clip the face off. And if you want to have a pink face for oh. 
the girls' room, you can do that. It comes with the two. There's no blue face because they felt green was more appropriate for the go color to tell the child oh, it's yeah. okay to get. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it's very clever. Um, it's What's from the, name the of folks. It? Uh, it is the okay to wake alarm clock. Hmm. Okay to wake alarm clock. And where can it's I get Ameri it? AmericanInnovative.com is the company. American Innovative actually made the clocks that we also talked about, the executive LED alarm clock. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Yes. You can set a time for every day of the week. So if you're a shift worker, uh, um, you can do Gizwiz search to find it uh, on my website. Uh, you just dial the day Monday and you spin another dial oh. and it, you spin the dial until it stops where you want to get up. Tuesday, what time you want to get up? Wednesday. Um, so they do innovative clocks, and this is their newest, called the OK to Wake Alarm Clock from AmericanInnovative.com. I think As that's I said, very uh, cool. under, under 30 bucks. Yeah, I like that. Very cool. Yeah. I wish they'd had, and it had this a kind bit of, of green in it. it. Had a bit yeah, of green. Oh, when we were kids. Yeah, it would have been nice for when my kids were kids. Even would have been nice to have something like that. You know. Yeah, you have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something they, because they always woke us up. Always woke us up. Well, not anymore. No, now we wake them up. It's turned around <laughs> completely. Get up at noon, right? Yeah, yeah. They don't, teenagers. They don't want to get up ever. They just want to sleep all day. So Maybe I should get. I should get. Uh, uh, a clock that says it's okay to wake up the teenager clock. That's a good idea. That's what I need. Yeah. Connected somehow to their diurnal rhythms or something. Well, they won't be too cranky for the next three minutes. You better hurry up. Here come the letters, those lovely letters. Here come the gifts with letters now. Oh, yeah. Dan Luter is doing his best, Bing Crosby. I just play all the letters jingles all at once. Uh, they're great. And also what I love about the, uh, the the Bing Crosby type when he calls it the Bing theme is that he compressed the sound. So it yeah, sounds it's got, like one of those old radio kind yeah. of... Yeah. Uh, He's serious about his stuff. I have a letter. Actually, the letter uh, might be of interest to uh, some of our viewers who think they have the next big thing. Now, I do not know this company, but I'm just passing this info on from Lauren Millett, who says, one of your listeners could have the next big thing. The National Product Search Contest is a chance for three lucky finalists to show their invention in front of more than 50,000 wow. wholesale buyers in Dallas wow. this June. The winner receives a prize package worth $15,000, which includes $5,000 cash. The deadline for applications is March 26th. You can check out the details at DallasMarketCenter.com. Hmm. And if you go to DallasMarketCenter.com, you'll see the big logo for the next big thing. Now, do they make and a TV show out of this or what's the deal? You know what? Um, I do not know. I do not know. But I figured I'll just mention it in case someone has an idea. They won't bother us. They could just send it to the next big thing. You have to enter by March 26th. Right. Uh, the drawing, the actual judging is in June. Huh. And they'll, you go out there and it's a big... It's, I was out there once for the baby product show. And they have they have many wholesaler conventions out there. So this is obviously one of them where you can show your new invention. That's it's something, cool. it's a place to get some exposure. Yeah. Hmm. Dallas hmm. Market hmm. Center. Now, hmm. is it in Dallas? It's in Dallas. Okay. Which is probably why they call it the Dallas Market Center. <laughs> could be Center. a guy named Dallas. That's true. It could be people who used to be on the old TV show Dallas. Dallas could be Jr. What are yeah? What are they doing today? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Heather Locklear never ages. That's all I know. Hmm. Mm, she's got something going on there. 
Christmas. <laughs> All right, there's our letter. There's our gadget. That means it's time to say goodbye. We'll be back tomorrow, though, with uh, more gadgets for you from Dickie D. Don't forget Dick's website, by the way, gizwiz.biz. And the What the Heck Is It contest in full swing. Yes. Are you getting some it good entries? Uh, I am. You go to there, go click on uh, What the Heck look. Is It. I, gotta, I haven't looked at, at it yet. top right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you haven't seen the new. i got to see the new one. Gadget. I haven't seen it in a while. Oh, it's G-I-Z <laughs> dot W-I-Z dot. No, no. G-I-Z oh, W-I-Z no. dot biz. There it is. I got it right. There the it time. is. And you can tell you've gotten there because there's a strange Irish leprechaun with lights on his head. <laughs> right there. All right. And I click the what the heck is it? What the heck is it? What the heck is it? And let's see what the heck. Uh, da, 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 okay. The last one was, was the, the one? hold the page open. Hold the page open That's at that. the bottom now, of this now page. Here's the new what the heck is it? It's, um, it's a, um, looks like a. That Toyota story. <laughs> it looks like a magazine, maybe, or a... well, that's a that's a preview of uh, Mad for May, which is what people are winning. Oh, I get it. And Toyota story. Like I get it. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sudden acceleration. I get it. Yeah. But there yeah, it is. Yeah, there There's you go. The there you go, pal. Those little wow. blue thingies. Blue. Wow. The blue thingies. Now, do you take these it's... pictures yourself? Uh, I actually lifted that. From a press kit. Because I was going to say, this is pretty um, pretty good professional photography. Looking. Pretty professional. For, for yeah. little blue things. Pretty professional. Yeah, for little blue things, yeah. Yeah. And th there's Sometimes, nothing at littlebluethings.com. Nothing so, there? You looked? Darn. Oh, nothing there. No, I didn't be? look, but I'm assuming there isn't. Oh, I know. Those are the tires from the moon rover. <laughs> I recognize that now. He's so so good. You can tell. I should not let you. No. You know. You, you know. You border on professional sometimes. I border, just, I border on. I border on something. It, I don't know what. Just, yeah. <laughs> but sometimes you border on professional, and sometimes you're over the line. Yes. There just doesn't seem to be any midway. Nowhere with you. in between for me. No, no sir. Dick, we'll see you tomorrow for another Gizwiz. I'll be here. D A. I-L-Y It's the Daily Giz Whiz It's the Daily Giz Whiz It's the Daily Giz Whiz It makes its own gravy Yeah!